channel, y'all. So, I'm sorry if I have, if you have not subscribed to the channel, what you waiting on? Okay, y'all, I'm doing from Jack and Michael's this morning. I, uh, I kind of started without y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all what I put in my Jack Michael's. This is three cans of tuna fish, one can of Jack Michael. Uh, you can get pink salmon or whatever kind you want, but yeah, I use one can of uh, Jack Michael and one can of, I mean, in, uh, two, three cans of tuna. So, I got in here. I'm going to do another video on this, but I'm just showing y'all what I'm cooking this morning. My ingredient, my seasoning is, is black pepper, ground sage, onion salt, onion powder, and regular salt. That's it. That's all I use in my seasoning. Sorry about checking y'all. I'm on this dog on thing. So that's all I use in my seasonings. And then I got some bell pepper onion that I had cooked a little bit. I steamed them a little bit before I put them in because you know Jack and Mackerel's and tuna is already smoked and done. So you don't want to overcook it. But uh, yeah, I'm about to, I put, oh, one egg in this. So you, you can use one egg, uh, just a handful of, I used a handful of flour, uh, like a half a pack of breadcrumbs, well, crackers, just regular white crackers, a half of that, uh, a handful of uh, cornmeal, Oh, what else did I put in here? And that is it. That's my dry ingredients that I put in here. Crackers, uh, cornmeal, flour. And that's it, y'all. So I'm about to show y'all when I put this in the grease and uh, y'all can see that part. When I patted them together. My rice is already done. I'll show y'all that in the end. Yep, so I'll be back. So they might not just... Every time I do these things, they turn out different. I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time. And see, like now, they're a little too wet. I made them a little too wet. I should have dried my um, meat out a little more, but they should be good. We just gonna get them in here, honey. They're gonna be good either way. I don't want that grease. Don't you don't want to use that much grease either. I used a little too much grease this morning. Now I know some people that deep fry them, so I guess it ain't enough. I mean, too much grease, but but the best way is to like uh, you know, you know I want to overcrowd that pan, so I'm gonna leave it at five right there. It's five and get the other five into the mix, get it. And I'm just right now patting these up. Patting the other ones up to go in the mix. It's a real simple recipe, y'all. So I'm quick. Y'all from the South, I know y'all know how to make Jack Miracles and rice, you know. It's very simple. If you don't know how to make them, just go back and look at some of my videos. I got like three videos on this. I do different ways every time. So my last one, it was uh, a new uh, method that I had tried and it was so good. Y'all should try that one. Go back and look at my my old uh, Jack Mackerel. I think I titled it Jack Mackerel New Recipe. Yeah, y'all go look at that. It was really good. Yep, it was really good, y'all. So, yeah, I'm gonna get these cooking. I don't wanna hold y'all too long with this. And I'm gonna flip them over and I'll show y'all the end results. All right, be back. Okay, so I flipped those over and I'm gonna show y'all how they look. When you flip them over, you don't wanna cook them too long on one side. So, and you don't wanna move them around too much because they'll break apart. But this is how they look once you flip them over. Looking good already on the way. About to put these things on some, you know, drain them. Drain them. 
They're gonna be so good. Gotta be seasoned all good and stuff in it. You wanna season right now. You don't wanna under season them because they ain't gonna be easy. But you don't wanna over season them. Cause you know this is this is fish, so yeah. I'm gonna cook tonight. I guess I'll do a video. I'm cooking some um my son was a hamburger hippo. So I'm gonna cook him some hamburger hippo on the side. But I'm cooking me some cabbage, some smoked neck bones, and some sweet potatoes and cornbread. I'm here to taste for it. So I guess I'll let y'all see. I guess I'll upload a video tonight too. Let y'all see me cooking it. Some smoked neck bones. I had no smoked neck bones in a long time. And I had a taste for some, so. Oh yeah, it's going down. I'm gonna let y'all see. But for right now, I'm gonna let this finish cooking and then I'm gonna uh, take it out in about five minutes because it don't take uh, six minutes on each side to be uh, truthful with you. Five, five, six minutes on each side. And they may be overcooking, but five to six minutes on each side. You don't wanna cook them too long. So I'm gonna get these finished and I'm gonna plate it up so y'all can see what it looks like. I got some buttered rice on the side. I was going to do some biscuits, but I didn't feel like it. But I do got me a, a, a bagel over. I'm about to douse it with some cream cheese. And we're going to eat. And I'll be right back when I get these out and plate it up, y'all. All right. Okay, y'all. That's how that looks. Those are done. Those are done. And then we got some still going. That's almost about to be if we can just say it. But those are done. Nice crispy golden brown. Alright. Back in just a second. Alright y'all so I got a blueberry bagel that I'm gonna cook. Some some blueberry bagel. Yeah. And I got my butter already. She's just gonna move that around a little bit. So my, this is my wobbly pot, so. I'm gonna start it off on this side. I got an air fryer. I don't have a toaster, but I love to um, skillet toast mine, so. <laughs> so to say. So yeah. And I got me some cream and cheese. We're gonna put that cream cheese on there. As soon as I finish, I'm gonna slather it with some cream cheese. And I like to toast mine for about, mm, about a minute and a half on both sides. Minute to two minutes. I got some uh, strawberry bagels too, but I might have should give me a strawberry bagel. That looks good, huh? I just love blueberry bagels, but I did have the strawberry too, so I went with the blueberry today. I'm gonna eat me up strawberry in the morning. Yeah, and I had did a video one time. Somebody had asked me where I get my bagels from. I got those bagels from Winco. So if you see me, y'all know my favorite grocery store is Winco. And uh, that's where I got those. Uh, that's where I get my bagels from. It's like in the pastry uh, department. So they got a lot of bread, a lot of pastries and stuff like that over there. So I get mine right out of there, honey. All right, let me get these other jack mackerel out. It's not all the way. Like my girl say, she don't like no white meat. <laughs> that light skin meat. <laughs> See, you get toasted too good, right? Let me turn that around. I like mine, crunchy, crunchy. But don't they look good? Look at that. Ooh, get that little toast on there. Oh, good. So, we got all our, um, to the side. 
what it should be. Mm. Oh, I'm wet ready. You know, ain't as toasty as I would like it, but she'll do. Alrighty, y'all. There is my food. All done. All done. I know this don't go together but <laughs> with the bagel, but I just have taste for a bagel, so. Look on my Jack Mackerels. Y'all can see that? My Jack Mackerels, my buttered rice. Looking all sexy. And my blueberry bagel. And I'm about to eat y'all. I really appreciate y'all for watching again. And I will see y'all in the next one. Your girl love ya. Your girl got nothing but love for you, baby. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching again, though. Uh, I love y'all. If y'all have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thank y'all so much for everything. Oh, thank y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm.